Rosalie is specifically designed for Ash Magisteria. I now have the fastest solo run in Ash Magisteria and I just hope that someone beats it. Of course, anyone who has got good stats can beat my speed. Hello everyone, this is Shinobi once again with another Awakened Chaos Era video. So today I'm really really excited about talking uh, on how I managed to get the fastest solo run using Rosalie. Of course, it is not an unbreakable speed. I know there are people who have got better gear than I have and I'm really really sure that you will be able to beat that. But I I'm only here to tell you how I managed to get that. But before we move ahead with that, I would thank all of my 597 Awakened subscribers. You are my strength and encouragement, and I'm so happy that I'm getting so many subscribers recently, and I'm glad about it. And I hope that if you have not yet already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and if possible, share this video. So with that, let's go ahead and check out how I managed to beat it. So this is the team I'm using. You are surprised, eh? The least used hero in the entire game, Savannah. And that's what I'm using. Why am I using her? I'll tell you at the end of the run. So let's go ahead and check this out. So it's pretty simple, okay? The reason I'm using her is because of Savannah's trade. And that's what I'm looking for. And that's the only thing I'm looking for. And you can see what is happening over here. And you know what happens, okay? And you can look at the heal I'm getting. Even though my Rosalie is, has got only 5,100 attack. She has got only 5,100 attack. She doesn't have anything higher than that. And yet you can see the kind of heals I'm getting out of my Rosalie. That's because, that's simply because of Savannah's trait. And you know what happens when her trait comes in, okay? If you have not checked it, she's a legacy hero. Nobody uses her. She's a synthesizable hero. And absolutely no one uses her. I have never used her. I used to have um, one of my friends, Draker, used to play this game for a long time. And he used to use Savannah always. Savannah was one of his favorite heroes. And yeah, ultimately, we found a use for her. Okay. But as far as Rosalie is concerned, you need to give her a little bit of defense. You have to get her to around 1300 defense at least. If you're getting her to somewhere around 1500 defense, that will be great. She needs something higher than 12,000 HP. She can have an attack that's around 5,100 to 5,200, and then she will be able to solo this dungeon without any problem 100% of the time. The problem comes in when you do not have an sufficient enough HP, anything less than 12,000 12, HP, anything less than 1,300 defense, and she tends to die. That's because she takes too much of damage and then she's not able to heal herself up and her HP bar is also very low and that makes it very difficult for us to uh, do anything about it, okay? She, she's simply not able to heal herself up. She's simply not able to top herself up and that means you're dead, okay? So if you are attempting to do this solo thing, if you're wanting to do it in the solo way, of course it is going to take, uh, if you consider the timing taken, if you consider the time taken, then yeah, um, this is absolutely slow. Okay, it's not very fast. It will take four minutes and four and a half minutes to do. But the number of rounds that you're taking is low. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and that's exactly why I said it's the fastest one. But even then, I think like uh, we'll look at the time taken, overall time taken for this run at the end of the run. Uh, maybe I should have done it in a multi-battle way. I'll do a multi-battle and show you the timing there. Um, but if you're taking the multi-battle timing there, uh, it sh it she is still faster than many, many teams. Okay, many, many teams that are there, uh, they don't deal, uh, they're not able to deal uh, as much damage or they're not able to finish off these runs as fast as she's doing it here. She's doing it pretty fast, okay? It's not slow. And she's, you, you don't even have to book her. My, uh, my Rosalie is completely unbooked. She's not ascended. She doesn't have any books on her. All she has got is an assassin set. Of course, assassin set is required. And that's because um, you need that additional damage she's doing so that she can heal herself up. Uh, and um, sorry, she can, you know, 
deal a lot more damage on the primary target and the splash damage is also based on the damage by the initial the damage you're getting from the initial hit so it's always better that you give her an assassin set so she's able to get that initial higher damage and that will allow you to actually survive better okay it will also help you in dealing a lot more damage and finishing off the runs pretty faster so as far as rounds are concerned she is doing it very well she's able to finish it off in 20 to 22 rounds so within 20 rounds to 22 rounds she'll be able to finish the boss without any problem uh, the time of course because she's taking the hits from each and every minion she's obviously going to take a longer time a little bit more longer time than the uh, than what is happening usually but if it is, is it the fastest uh, solo team of course this is the fastest solo team at the moment but once you see the stats on it you will certainly be able to build a faster team than this i'm pretty sure when you have built that faster team and you have finish the uh, runs in say within 20 rounds comment on this uh, video comment on this video and tell me hey i managed to finish it within 20 rounds that's what i want <laughs> okay basically that's what i want i want to show uh, I want uh, each of my viewers to tell me, hey Shinobi, I was able to finish off my uh, run within 20 rounds. Okay, or maybe in 16 rounds and 17 rounds, no problem, but comment on this video. So as you can see, I was able to finish this off in 21 rounds using just my Rosalie, and it's absolutely a solo one, okay? <laughs> because <laughs> there was only one hit by Savannah. Savannah hit only once and not twice. She did not do anything after that so i believe this is the fastest solo run that can be there uh, at this moment okay so let's quickly look at the stats on my hero so this is my rosalie at the moment she has got around um, 5143 attack 12000 hp 1300 defense 147 speed 264 crit damage i'm not really concerned about her speed uh, because I'm, I have anyhow plan to go, make her go second. But if you have enough speed, you can give her enough speed. But do give her somewhere around thirteen hundred to fifteen hundred defense and twelve thousand, over twelve thousand or possibly even thirteen thousand health. That will help her to survive better. Um, as far as, uh, as far as her gear are concerned, she's got an attack set and warrior set and a uh, assassin set. So That's this okay. is my savanna over here, uh, and. She has got a fully warrior set, nothing else. I did not care about her health, her crit damage or crit rate. All I bothered, all I was bothered about was her attack. So she has got 6,152 attack. If you can get her to 6,500, 7,000 attack, that is great because the higher the attack she has, the better. And she's expected to die on the very first round. You want her dead on the very first round. That's what you want. So just give her as low HP as possible as low defense as possible she just needs to be slightly faster than the wave the first wave that is not the all the waves just get her out of the picture as soon as possible so that she dies and she's able to get her uh trait uh rocked and that is upon death she grants 50 percent of this character's attack to a random ally and that means that she's going to give 50 percent that is oh at this moment with my gear she's going to uh, transfer 3050 attack to the random ally which is rosalie but i'm allowing her to go first before the wave and that's the re and the reason for that is because of her ultimate her ultimate gives her 30 percent attack so that means she is going to at the time of her death she's going to have somewhere around 7900 attack and half of that 7900 attack is being transferred to my rosalie and that is why she, uh, my rosalie at the time she is uh, uh, doing her attack she's doing a counter attack she will be having around uh, 8000 attack on her okay she's basically having more than 8000 uh, i think around 9000 attack with my current stance she's having 9000 attack and that's why she's able to heal herself up for 4500 health otherwise she'll not be able to heal herself up to that level so this is why i'm using savannah and this is why i was successful okay so let me know what you think about it i know you you guys have a much better gear than mine you will be able to gear your savannah to 7000 attack maybe even take her to 70 some people may even book her up don't do that don't do it because i said it okay no 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 i'm just i was just kidding you, you may not want to do that but 
if you're doing it, uh, if you're getting her to 7,000 attack, if you're getting your Rosalie to 5,700 or 5,800 attack, even up to 6,000 attack by bo uh, booking her up, your Rosalie is going to do massive amount of damage and you will be able to finish off the runs in just around 17 or 18 rounds. So let me know in comments how many rounds it took you to finish off this run using this kind of a team with your gears, okay? So I'd like to hear from you. Do not, do not be shy. Just, uh, just post your comment. At the same time, do subscribe to my channel, okay? So until next time, peace, love and blessings to all of you. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.